Have you ever wanted to know how the biggest YouTubers are making their simple sit down videos so engaging? In this video, I'm going to show you five different methods that you can use to make your videos more engaging. My name is Vince and let's get right into it. The first method we are going to use is the dynamic zoom and also the punch in punch out. And these are two really simple ways you can uh, basically make your videos that are just simple sit down videos more engaging. So let's start with the dynamic zoom. So if you ever seen a clip where the uh, video is slowly zooming in on the creator, well, this is how you do it. First of all, uh, let's say I want to add a quick little zoom uh, to this part of the video, right? This first 10 seconds. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut here. And then once I have that, I'm going to go right to the beginning where I want the zoom to begin. And I'm going to come here to effect controls and then click on the scale toggle animation button. And then right here, I'm going to go to where the end of that uh, section of the clip is. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and put the scale to, let's say, 130. Okay. And now... If I watch this back, you can see it added an animation for the zoom uh, effect. And this is pretty neat. If you want to make the zoom faster, for example, you can just make the two keyframes closer to each other. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this second keyframe closer to around here. And you can see now my animation is uh, faster. So uh, if you want to do it the other way around, the only thing you're going to change is in the beginning at the first keyframe, you will set it to the higher number like 130. And then on the second keyframe, you will put it to 100 and then it's going to be uh, zooming out slowly. That is number one, the dynamic zoom. And the second uh, zoom option uh, that I like to use a lot is the punch in, punch out. And the way you do that is you want to make sure you have uh, basically a cut somewhere in your clip. And then here, uh, if I want this to get close up to me, then I'm just going to set that to 130, for example. And you can see now this one is more zoomed in. And after that, the second clip is at 100 and then it zooms out. And then if I wanted to zoom back in again on this on the next one, I can just set it to whatever number I want. And then you can see now it's zoomed in, zoomed out and then it zooms in again. And the way I like to use this technique is whenever I'm, for example, emphasizing a point in my video, I will zoom in close up to me and then the viewer is going to notice that uh, and you know pay more attention to whatever I'm saying at that certain time. So the dynamic zoom can be great for like suspenseful parts uh, and it really is just like bringing the viewer closer to you, gets them to pay more attention and also the punch ins punch out can be great for illustrating points a lot better. So this is the first technique. Let's move on to number two. So method number two to make your videos more engaging is adding B-roll and graphics to your video. So this is a technique used by pretty much everyone. B-roll is basically supplemental footage on top of your talking head video. So if in this video, for example, I'm talking about editing, I might take a clip that is about editing and just simply put it onto video track two. So it's overlaying my original footage. I will uh, scale it up so it fills up the whole screen and uh, that's pretty much b-roll right like i'm talking about a certain thing and then i show it with a different clip and then when i'm done talking about it or i wanted to switch back i will just delete the second part and boom i have just added b-roll to my clip it's simple as that you can get b-roll from stock video websites or you can also shoot your own b-roll which is even more ideal so you can put down your camera you know film yourself doing something and then you have b-roll of yourself now b-roll is not necessarily limited like i said to just videos you can also use text as b-roll so if i wanted to add the text for example here um saying something whatever uh and then I have that pop up uh, randomly on the screen somewhere that's considered B-roll as well, right? And things like graphics, just like animations and anything like that is also supplemental, you know, footage and elements to make your video even more engaging. I like to use this a lot. Uh, it can be great to keep your viewers attention as a rule of thumb, especially in YouTube videos. In the first few minutes, I like to have something pop up every like three to five seconds. So whether that be a text, whether that be a B-roll video, whether that be just a picture or a screenshot popping up somewhere, whether that be an animation, all of these are amazing to make your videos more more entertaining and easier to watch until the end. All right, the next way to make your videos more engaging is adding background music and sound effects. Adding music in general, I think is great because it can add a nice little atmosphere to your videos. So it's not just you talking in silence. Also adding sound effects for things like 
b-roll or uh, if there was a transition somewhere happening you can add sound effects to that as well it can take your video to a whole nother level you don't want to underestimate the power of sound design and uh, background music and just music in general it can take an average video from like a 5 out of 10 to an 8 or a 9 out of 10 so it's really powerful i personally like to use a website called epidemic sound uh, to get all my background music from and my sound effects from and they were actually kind enough to also sponsor this video so if you want to start your epidemic sound trial then go ahead and click the link in the description they are offering a free 30-day trial and also some amazing discounts uh, if you use the code below so go ahead and check that out the reason i like epidemic a lot is first of all i've been using their service for five years at this point and i never really had any technical difficulties with them never got any of my videos copyright striked and you only need to pay a small monthly subscription fee or an annual fee for their service instead of you having to license your songs and sound effects individually that could potentially cost thousands thousands of dollars it is really that crazy sometimes especially for things like commercial projects so you just pay a small flat fee for their service and then you can use an unlimited amount of uh, downloads from their wide library of songs and sound effects on all your videos and look even if you decide that you don't like the service in the three 30-day uh, trial period then you can just cancel the subscription but still all the videos that you use their music in in that period on your channel for example they are not going to get copyright flagged so you really have nothing to lose if you're interested in checking out epidemic go ahead and click the link in the description i'm going to go ahead and uh, grab some uh, music from here so i'm just going to download this track for example and the cool thing is you can also download uh what are called stems so you most of their songs actually have these stem downloads where you can download either like the different layers separately right so you can get the melody the instruments the bass and the drums on separate layers as well so you can manipulate the song in your editing and it gives you much more creative control but i'm just going to download this full mix and i'm also going to search for some sort of um, sound effect that i can add to this b-roll that i added so uh, it's someone editing right so i'm gonna search up keyboard for example and you can see there are basically 245 sound effects with just the keyword keyboard in it so there are plenty of options and these are all high quality uh, sound effects so i'm just gonna whatever download this one someone typing on a keyboard and uh, you can select the format here i'm gonna use mp3 and then I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this into my project, add it under the B-roll so it has sound. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop my music as well into audio track three. And uh, just like that, I was able to add some nice background music. I have a whole video on background music alone. So go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna leave it in the description below on how you can uh, you know, adjust it, uh, manipulate it and so on. But music and sound effects is definitely a really powerful way to make your videos more engaging. So you definitely don't want to miss out on using them. Now, the next way you can make your videos even more engaging is by adding transitions to your clips. So there are plenty of transitions you can download from the internet you can also create your own ones or you can use the default ones that premiere pro has installed so i'm just going to show you as an example one of the default ones so you want to come here to effects and then you want to come here uh, to video transitions and you can see there are a bunch of different type of transitions you can use i quite like this wipe transition so i'm gonna put that on uh, this clip right here just like that drag and drop it and then you can see if I click on the transition now, I can change the length of the transition. I can make it faster. And I can also change with this wipe transition example from where it comes onto my screen. So if I wanted to go from north to south, I can just click that and like that. I was able to create this pretty cool transition so again there are plenty of default transitions in premiere pro that you can use in your videos to cut between two clips and make it you know more engaging more interesting or you can also go on the internet and find amazing templates even for free that you can use in your editing software all right so last but not least uh, one of my favorite ways to make your videos just easier to watch and more engaging is by adding what I like to call section titles into your videos. So if you have seen any of my tutorials, you might see a lot of times 
I have, you know, this text pop up from the bottom with a nice black background that says something like part one, adding B-roll or whatever it might be, right? And I like to really just like cut down my long, for example, 10, 15 minute video into small bite-sized pieces that the viewer can easily digest and understand. And I will add these section titles to my video that indicate what I'm talking about at that exact moment. So uh, I'm also gonna create a video probably on that in the future, but if you wanna learn how you can create those exactly until then, then potentially go ahead and check out my editing masterclass in the description where I take people from complete beginner to pretty much pros at editing and Photoshop, creating thumbnails, YouTube, and just content creation in general. So I worked a lot on uh, creating magnetic editing. We have a really cool community. We do uh, feedback calls and things of that nature there as well. So we already have a long tutorial on how to do that. But you know, if you wanna stick around, I will probably make a video on the channel about that as well. But adding section titles can be great because again, if you break down a 10 or 15 minute video into these small, like few minutes segments it's a lot easier for the viewer to you know follow along and uh, really understand exactly what they are learning or what you're talking about so that's another thing i like to add to make my videos kind of like stand out from the ground and make them a bit more engaging and easier to follow along i hope these five tips are going to help you take your videos to the next level and uh, help you edit more engaging videos if you want to see more videos about uh, things like this then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also if you you want you can actually put a comment down below in the description and uh, if you say like hey Vince could you please review this specific video on my channel I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a live stream pretty soon reviewing your edits and giving you feedback on it on how you could potentially improve it so if you are interested in that go ahead and drop a comment don't put any links there because that's not allowed but you can put like hey Vince check out this video on my channel and then put the title of it there so hope you guys enjoy this hope you guys learned something new and I will see you in the next one